Jack Stuss Homestuck is a self-indulgent podcast featuring a heart player encouraging you to be self-indulgent too. Welcome home. Here's a special little mini episode where I talk about Homestuck 2. So I hope this isn't too many updates in a week. I've been told that's not a thing and people are always happy to have more updates from me, but I don't want to feel like I'm drowning you out. Um, if you want to take part in discussions where I ask when I should upload stuff, like I did for this one, uh, please join my Discord. There's a link, there's a link below. There's a link on my Twitter. And there's a link on my website. So just so you know, like I, I do a lot of talking in Discord and especially now that I'm going to be gone for a month, that's where you're going to be able to talk with me and see what's going on with the podcast and stuff. So just so you know, you guys wanted this. And by you guys, I mean the couple of people in my Discord who responded. So Homestuck 2. For those of you who aren't already aware, on October 25th, uh, which I believe is Cascade's anniversary, Homestuck2.com, uh, two being the numeral and not the word, was released to the public. Homestuck2 is a continuation of the epilogues and is written by a wide array of creators, both old and new. A summary of the epilogues and a list of the creators can be found on Homestuck2.com, along with more information in its frequently asked questions section. And I'll let that FAQ answer the big questions about it, namely in regard to its uh, canonicity, 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 whatever, and stuff like that. While I have my own opinions, they are just opinions and they're in a state of flux and I'm constantly absorbing new information and um, new ideas about it. And I, I talk about that a lot on my Twitter. Um, I have several threads about it. If you guys really want, I can link you to them. But I, they're not some end-all be-all of discussion, just my personal thoughts. And I'll probably have more thoughts as they go on. But uh, yeah, if you want to see them, they're on uh, my personal Twitter, which is Dirkification. What I do want to say about Homestuck 2 is that this wasn't unexpected for me and I'm kind of surprised that it was unexpected for some people. So I, I've been seeing some people, which is kind of blowing my mind, but there are a lot of people both on Homestuck and on Tumblr who are surprised that... Oh, did I say I'm both on Homestuck or on Tumblr? Both on Twitter or on Tumblr. I don't. It's four in the morning. On various sites, basically, there are people who are surprised Homestuck is still going and it's still around and they're acting like Homestuck just suddenly popped back from the dead with Homestuck 2. And I guess I understand that to an extent. Like, obviously, I'm deeply involved in the Homestuck community, so I've been seeing what's going on. But, you know, it's been around for a while. Hive Swap came out, what, two years ago? The idea that I know when anything came out is ridiculous. But so Hiveswap's been out and it's been well known enough that Jack Septiguy, for example, did a playthrough of it. So it's not like strictly just known within the Homestuck community. And, uh, you know, Friend Sim's been out and Pester Quest has been out. And um, I can see people not knowing about the Skynet thing, but like the epilogues have been out and the epilogues were on the main page of Homestuck. And I, th I think the games got onto the main, the front page. I'm not, I can't remember. I think so. So to me, the avenues that anyone would use to learn about Homestuck 2, they should have also known about the other Homestuck stuff that's been out. 
especially the epilogues, which I can see if people aren't counting Hive Swap and Friend Sim and Pester Quest, but like the epilogues is a continuation. Um, but anyway, so I just, I, I'm just surprised that people are surprised about Homestuck 2. Like Homestuck just came back from the dead after uh, three years or however long. So that's kind of, that's kind of my thing there. Like I've been told that some people just don't know about it, but like, or, or don't pay attention to the same avenues. I, I guess that's true. I could see some people being surprised, but it seemed like a lot of people were surprised we're still around. But, uh, and, and then, you know, it, it has to, it, it could have stuff to do with, I know Polygon did an article about Homestuck 2, like that day, uh, it seemed to be kind of a, a simultaneous release. So maybe that helped. I'm not sure. And then for two, even with, like, with the people who are, up to date with Homestuck and know what's going on and are a part of the community. It seems like people are surprised Homestuck 2 was a thing, as especially as a continuation of the epilogues, when to me it was really clear that the epilogues were going to be continued. I mean, it left off on a cliffhanger. I mean, like... You know, I can't predict what Pumpkin or Andrew Hussey or anything like that. So I, it's not like it would have been this huge thing if they didn't continue it. I think it would have been weird and maybe something else could have happened. I don't know. What I'm just saying is like to me, it was fairly clearly leading up to the next big Homestuck thing that I kind of expected to be Homestuck 2 because Dirk's out here trying to create a whole new Esper obsession. So I, I, I guess I don't really get the surprise with that. I think I saw one post where someone said uh, that they thought the epilogues were left open like that as a way to give us, the fans, the kind of tools to build our own stuff and make our own stories because that's kind of the whole deal with the epilogues and stuff is that like it's... It's our canon now is the, again, I'm not getting deep into that because I have threads about it, but like this idea that it was left open for us to play with and not for it to be continued by official creators. I, I guess I can see that. Again, to me, it was just always clear that Homestuck 2 was going to be a thing. Maybe it wasn't called Homestuck 2 necessarily. Uh, maybe it would be called something else, but like a continuation like this in some form of or another was... Uh, Something I expected. Uh, not to say like I expected it now or this year or <laughs> anything like that. But it, it seemed like a thing for me. Um, and, and then for three, Hive Swap, Friendsome, and Pester Quest never really felt like it to me. Um, maybe when... Maybe when Hive Swap first came out or or maybe if Hive Swap 2 was, was able to come out uh, more quickly, which this isn't like shade against people making games is hard and they're doing like a lot of other stuff on top of it like I get that it's not out yet that's not my problem um or I, I don't really have a problem it's not an issue for me it's just maybe if it was able to come out more quickly um that would have felt more not fulfilling but like more solid content I don't know I, I'm not saying that what's coming out isn't solid content I absolutely love it it's just um but I, I don't know, Friend Sim and um, especially like Pester Quest and Skynet felt like the precursors to something else that's going to happen. But maybe this is just me talking in hindsight. Uh, maybe it didn't initially feel like that. And I'm just like, oh, yeah, well, obviously these were just like precursors to something else happening and weren't like the main big thing. Like, especially Hive Swap could definitely be its own main big thing. And obviously Friend Sim is a precursor to Hive Swap too. But, um, I don't know. It just, I say it always felt, and again, this could be hindsight talking, but it just felt like there was something else that we were going to be doing that it wasn't just like, yeah, here's Hive Swap, here's Pester Quest. That's the rest of the Homestuck content you're going to get. But uh, this is all to say, like, overall, I'm excited for Homestuck 2. I'm not meaning to, like, rag on people who didn't expect it. I'm just explaining my personal thoughts and feelings on this. If you didn't expect it and I did, that's fine, because I don't expect most things that happen, especially when it comes to Homestuck, but when it comes to just about anything, people are like, oh, yeah, that was obviously a thing, and these were all the clues leading up to this. I'm just, like, dumb. <laughs> I 
don't notice things. This this is one thing I expected that doesn't make me better than anyone else or anything like that. That would be fucking ridiculous to say. Um, but yeah, so I'm excited for Homestuck 2. Um, I, if you don't know by now, I love Dirk. And while I'm obviously concerned about his current role in the story, I trust the overall team of What Pumpkin to stay true to Homestuck and to give us a good story. Do I hope good things happen to Dirk eventually? Yes. Am I worried that he's going to get sliced in half by Kanaya? Also, yes. <laughs> but I, I think whatever happens, it's it's going to be true to Homestuck, and I, I won't be too mad about it. And again, this isn't to say that if you didn't like the epilogues or if you don't like Homestuck 2, that you're somehow worse. If you just want to stick to the core series... Um, or the core, core webcomic, and take that and go home, that's fine. I get it. The epilogues definitely weren't for everyone. In my own personal friend group, there's a wide array of opinions on the epilogues, and that's that's completely fine. I personally liked them. I personally like Homestuck 2 so far. Uh, I, I doubt that I'm going to dislike it. I Again, I trust the overall team. And yeah, so, so like I said, I'm excited. Um... That said, I'm not going to be covering Homestuck 2 as it releases in updates like I have been for Pester Quest. It's, to me, like, you know, Homestuck 2 is a continuation of Homestuck, so it's one of those things, like, I'll get there when I get there, and it might be a while, uh, because I have some current ideas of how I'm going to be um, doing episodes of the podcast, and it Again, this is where I really encourage you guys to take my my listener survey because I'm looking at that feedback about what you guys want from this and what series you like and don't like. And there are some things I might take a break on um, or might do less often. And, you know, not to give spoilers for what might be coming because it's still in a state of flux. But read stuck might be something I don't prioritize as much as I do now, uh, which is to say in this past month hasn't been prioritized at all, but it's going to take me a while to get through Homestuck is what I'm saying. And it might take me even longer depending on what happens. If you guys want me to stay more on top of current Homestuck happenings and cover Homestuck 2 as it comes out, especially since it's especially since it's currently, as of this recording, going to be coming out, I think, twice a month since they reached their Patreon goal of a thousand patrons. I think that's what it was. Then, yeah, that's going to be a lot easier to cover, even if it's just a, a, a side thing, like maybe a tack on to a Pester Quest episode or something. If, if you guys really want me to cover Homestuck 2, let me know and I will. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have like an easy answer for that on my listener survey because it obviously came out way before this. But I, I do have sections on there for you to add your own comment in. Or if you already took the listener survey, you can just DM me or get in my um, my server, my, my, my Discord for this podcast and let me know there. Um, because I, I want to give you guys content that you want, you know? And if you guys really, really want me to talk about Homesick 2, I will. As of right now, I'm not planning on it. Um, maybe if something huge happens with it, I don't know. But for now, it, it's just going to be like, hey, yeah, Homesuck 2 is here. That's what this episode is. So yeah, I, I guess that's really my point. Is please take my listener survey. Let me know what you guys want. I, I already have um, some kind of plans in the works. I already have a basic schedule lined out of how I think I want things to go based on current feedback I have. But I do have my whole month of hiatus with slower episode updates to kind of figure that out and see how things are going to go. I don't think we're going to see a full solid schedule change until January, just because um, I'm probably going to be taking a week off for the holidays, um, partially because I just assume you guys aren't going to be listening during your uh, winter vacation. But yeah, so that, that's my ideas now. Um, if you guys want sneak previews of my schedule and as I work it out, you can become a patron uh, for as little as $1 a month and you will get um, updates about how I'm trying to schedule things out. 
Uh, right now, patrons are getting a sneak preview of my schedule schedule, which is usually only reserved for a higher tier, um, which I may be changing around depending on things. But yeah, if, if you want to know details, basically become a patron and or join my Discord. Thank you guys for sticking by me through this. And thank you guys for... I hope your support next month while I slow down updates. Um, I do want to say my current idea for next month is to have um, weekly episodes instead of basically, you know, I have my regular weekly episode and then I have a bonus on Saturday. It's just going to be one a week. So my pester quest, which is normally just a bonus episode, is going to be um, on Wednesdays. Whether it's going to be any longer than normal, I'm not sure. Uh, I do still have to do my Kanayan Car Cat episode that should be out this Saturday if everything goes as planned. So I can do Gamsi and Vriska next Wednesday and kind of get back on track there. But they might inherently be a little longer just because there's two routes for the trolls now. So that takes more time. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how things go. But yeah, so that's that's my current plan with that. There might be a few bonus episodes thrown in there, or there might be nothing, or there might just be stuff for patrons, or I, I don't have it worked out 100%, but my current plan is to do just one episode a week, just one basic episode for November. Anyway, please, again, take my listener survey so I know how I can help make a better podcast for you guys and make a better community and make a better whatever. And yeah, and if you ever want to put in more insights just throughout all time and not have to wait for a listener survey, join my Discord and say things there. And um, because I ask questions in there of of what I should do. And uh, so you guys get like direct involvement with that. And yeah, thank you guys for supporting me so far. Also, um, I did say the listener survey was going to end, I think, on November 6th. That might be extended to November 12th, just because I'm going to have a little bit more time on my hands with the hiatus. Um, and because I'm just not getting as much feedback as I want. But yeah, anyway, <laughs> I'm sorry, I keep rambling on. It's like 4.30 in the morning. Really, just... Thank you guys so much. Um, Homestuck 2 sounds cool. And yeah, I'm sorry this episode is a fucking mess because I literally have a script for it and I still just went fucking bonkers. Also, sorry if anything sounds weird in this. I am still having a little bit of, uh, I guess I'm sick or something. I'm still having a little bit of lung troubles, which has been making it hard for me to do my Car Cat and Kanai episode or anything. So I'll see you guys hopefully Saturday with my Car Cat and Kanaya episode. This podcast's theme is Dirty Dirt Kinney and was created by Domi, who could be found on SoundCloud as Domino Thief. The art for the podcast was done by Abby, who you can find on Twitter at Space Arby's. Unless it wasn't. Shout out to my patrons, Kansas Just Got Gayer and Jacob King. To become a patron and get episodes up to five days early, along with other benefits, go to patreon.com slash sociallyanxiousdragon and sign up for as little as $1 a month. You can find links to that and more in the episode's description, on the podcast's Twitter, JaxDoesHS, or on JaxDoesHomestuck.com. Please remember to rate this podcast on iTunes and share with your friends. Thanks for listening, and don't forget to be a little selfish.